Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd show you something a little bit different. Uh, basically, um, we come across this fault where I work and I just thought it was too interesting not to share. So basically, um, we got a Ford Transit. I think it's a Mark 7, but I think it's the same as a Mark 6. Um, and basically, I could swear it was a starter motor or basically a starting fault. So um, basically, you turn the key over and what would happen is as you turn um, to start, the ignition lights would go off and the starter would wind over slow. So anyone, you know, would think possibly battery or maybe um, power cables or something like that. Um, but we went right through this van. Well, I say we, the, the two lads I worked with went right through this vehicle, um, you know, and I got to be honest with you, I was behind them shouting, uh, it'll be, got to be the starter motor, got to be the starter motor. And uh, it turns out not, it turns out it was an actually an ignition fault all along and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to see this fault in action and uh, obviously so you know if you've got this fault but uh, yeah definitely something worth looking out for and definitely worth something keeping an eye on so uh, yeah let's take a look. And if you get value from this video, hit the like button and subscribe to support this channel. Right then, so if we take a look at the van, if we just try to start it. You can see it's just winding over and it's not firing. So, and you can hear it's a bit slow. Just try it again. Obviously, lights come on. And it won't start now if I turn it off and do it again so now if we try to start it and we wiggle the key up and down you'll see it won't start Right then guys, so the fault isn't actually the ignition itself, it's actually the electronic contact on the back by here. So basically all you need to do is push in this tab, there's two tabs either side, um, push them in with a little screwdriver and you can unslot it out and this is what the new one looks like. So I will tag this in the description so you can have a look at it, um, so I'll show you where to get it from and basically it's just a switch that... Uh, obviously uh, turns on the power so that's what goes faulty and that's what needs to be replaced so now we have the new ignition switch in place and we'll just go ahead and turn it on and there she is all done and if you get value from this video hit the like button and subscribe to support this channel